$145,000 a year. I don't know if you average that or not, but that's probably more than what a typical I a property IA averages a year. It's not a bad way to go. And I've talked to people who are who were in their final years before getting ready to retire. Some of them in their late fifties who are like, I mean, I can check out of here early and it's a it's kind of a not maybe not a golden parachute necessarily, but it's like a, a beautiful silver one, right? So it's a, it's it's a nice retirement for them. This is Adjuster TV, Adjusters First. Adjuster TV is brought to you by the National Association of Catastrophe Adjusters. Joining NACA will provide you with the resources you need to build a lasting career as a claims professional at adjustertv.com slash NACA. I won't turn people away from going staff, um, certainly. I What I w will do, we've talked about this before, is not tell you, viewer, to, hey, listen, go get a job at, a, at an insurance company get trained up and then quit. Don't do that. I don't think, that, right. I think that's bad form. I don't, I don't think that's a good way to do things. Um, but you know, if, if you're, especially if you're, um, in your twenties, thirties, uh, I think it's, if you start off, if you start off in at, at a, basically what's what amounts to a corporate job at a big, big company like that, and you slide into their systems and you kind of like sort of get indoctrinated into and sort of like weave yourself into that, that particular culture at that company, you can ride that out to retirement and do well, I think. $145,000 a year, I don't know if you average that or not, but that's probably more than what a typical I, a property IA averages a year, right? And you know, depending on the companies that you work for, you may or may not get a, on the IA side, you may or may not get a 401k or anything at all, right? You're paying for all your own expenses, all of your own expenses, not just licensing in your vehicle and your laptop, but like your health insurance, your car insurance, you know, all that stuff, right? Um, so it's not a bad way to go. And I've talked to people who are, who were in their final years before getting ready to retire, some of them in their late fifties who are like, I mean, I can check out of here early and it's a, it's kind of a, not maybe not a golden parachute necessarily, but it's like a, a beautiful silver one, right? So it's a, it's, it's a nice retirement for them, right? And uh, they're like, I'm glad I did it. It's a good way to go. I made a lot of friends, you know, you're part of a team on the staff side. Um, these people are, you know, at, on the IA side, you are also part of a team, but it's a little, you're a little bit more isolated out there when you're out there in the field. Um, so if you decide to go that way, again, not a bad way to go for those reasons uh, and certainly others, do a little bit of legwork beforehand, right? Like like Andy was just saying, uh, you know, get a license, get one license, get a good license, right? Get your, if, you, if you live at some place like, uh, I'll see, what would be a good one? Wyoming, right? Who's got a license and it's like, eh, I mean, there's, there's work, but get that license and then pick up Texas or Florida. And then that way, when you do get hired, the licensing department and HR at the company, all they have to do is take your that Florida or Texas license, which re is reciprocal with a bunch of other licenses, and just apply now. Right? That's it's pretty straightforward for them. Uh, learn a little bit of Xactimate because you when when you do onboard with these companies, they're going to run you through a bunch of training and stuff, and you show up already knowing how to use Xactimate. You can, you know. You're going to be ahead of the curve, it's, and it's always good to, to put in a little bit of extra work to be ahead of the curve, no matter what. And then I would say, you know, you may do at some point you're going to do an interview after through, through during the application process, especially with the bigger companies. Go on their website and do a little bit of basic, 15, 20 minutes worth of research on the company. Look at what charitable organizations they donate to. Look at the things that they've done over the years. How what to kind of get a just a high level bullet points of like their origin story of this company. And then you can talk about that in the interview. And that I, I know people who work as recruiters at, at big companies and they're like, if, it, if the person just did that one thing, right? They would make them so much more attractive. If you wanna watch the rest of this episode where I answer other questions ad free, as well as get access to a members only segment question and answer, head on over to adjustertvplus.com and become a member right now.